is good it's your girl baby dahlia and welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see from the title we are back today with the season finale for bridgerton season three episode eight into the light i have got my voter sticker on today to encourage you guys to exercise your rights exercise your rights this election you guys and don't argue with me you're not supposed to argue with your mother. <laughs> in the last episode, we left off on Queen Charlotte cornering the Bridgertons at Colin and Penelope's reception party after they had just gotten married. Was it right after they had just gotten married? Or... Wait a minute. Was it an engagement party or was it... No, it was after they had gotten married. I'm tripping <laughs> so yeah so queen charlotte cornered them at that party because she is getting very close to discovering the identity of lady whistledown um like i said in the last episode if queen charlotte and cressida put their information together it is a dead giveaway so we need to hope and pray that queen charlotte does not summon cressida because cressida is going to sing like a motherfucking bird okay we know she is because she is a bird you feel me it's not looking good it's not looking good for penelope right now and she's a bridgerton now so the bridgertons just can't get a mother break like they are always like in the center of the drama of the drama i don't know how penelope is going to play this off I don't know what Cressa is going to do next with this information she discovered after um, visiting all the printer shops. I don't know what Queen Charlotte has got up her sleeve. I don't know what's going to happen between Violet and Marcus. Are they going to finally do the do? I feel like they've been flirting a lot. And I feel like after the last episode when Violet and Agatha had their little conversation where Violet really gave Agatha some reassurance about their friendship not being one-sided so i feel like that has caused agatha to kind of put the gun down a little bit so i don't know what's gonna happen there i'm assuming um lord kill martin and francesca are gonna get married this episode um and are we missing anybody no we're not i don't think i don't think <laughs> i am so excited to get this episode but it's kind of bittersweet the season finale of any series is always bittersweet because well i'm saying any series like this is not the only one we've done <laughs> but it's bittersweet just because it's like this one especially because it's like okay there is not another season to hop into like this is really like all that i get this is all we get this is it and i feel like i'm finally in the same boat as you guys because i'm officially caught up i'm officially caught up wow who knew we would make it? <laughs> if you like what you see in today's video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and then drop some love down below in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you don't miss a new upload. And then tap into the community chat. That is where you're going to be able to keep up with me and what's going on with the channel. All right, you guys, I do not think we have anything else to say. Let's just get right into the video. <laughs> I am so hyper today. And you know why? Because I had a nap. The power of a nap. Like when people tell me I don't take naps, I'm like, are you okay? Do you not know what you're missing? You don't know what you're missing. A nap is just top tier. It's much better than sleeping at night. Like sleeping at night is like, ugh. It feels good when you first get in bed and lay down, but like sleeping at night does not compare to a fucking nap, especially a nap in the middle of the day. It's just, it's just too good. It's just too good. Thank you for listening. Colin is worried and I don't blame him. Like I just married this girl. She's officially a Bridgerton and she finna get found out. And this is going to send, this is going to be bad for my family. I am off to Bridgerton house for breakfast. But my mother is coming. I'll give you and your mother some privacy. No, you don't have hmm. to leave. I wish to. Ah. Oh. We cannot be having marriage problems already. <laughs> Damn. Mom, you have a visitor in the drawing room. 
um, self help team. I'm not yet ready. I just feel like Penelope is not exercising all of her options here. Like, I get that you still want to do whistle down, but there needs to be some sort of compromise because you are a married a married. Oh wow! Krista. Okay, I was not expecting this. I trust you had a happy wedding night. What are you doing here? I'm simply. Why did they let the people in? Like I would say, don't let her in. Lady Oof! Is she gonna assume Eloise told? Is she gonna lie and say Eloise told her? No one would ever suspect you, as you are so very forgettable. That look is enjoyable. She came here to start shit. <laughs> she is the true Lady Whistledown. Oh, I, I, I told you, son, or I will. I told you, do not call her bluff. Cressida is a witch. Why would you call her bluff? Look how easily she outed that to your fucking mom, girl. Oh no 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 no. Oh no no no. This is. Mm. Well, uh. he cannot know about this latest scandal. For a gentleman such as Mr. Bridgerton to know that your actions have led to blackmail. At this point, Colin has seen it all, and that man is exhausted. <laughs> you must tell Colin. Well, I would forbid it. But clearly, my word is not one you choose to follow. Must get dressed. This is my problem with Penelope. It's the fact that she is not proactive enough for me. What do you mean? I have to go get dressed. No, we have shit to fix. What the fuck are you? What the fuck are you talking about? We, this house is on fire, and you're talking about you gotta go get dressed, girl. Throw some shit on. You got some, you got business to handle. Like the fuck are you on? That's my issue with her. She's not proactive enough. And then you sitting up there, Chris. I don't believe you. Why would you not believe her? She hates your guts. You could have had me in checkmate, Lady Danbury. I realize that. But, but what would be the, the point? Game would be over early. And what fun is there in that? Exactly. What What is our reasoning? I, I understand why Queen Charlotte wants to figure out her identity because she feels like Whistle Down is like trying to step on her toes type shit. But like... I agree with Agatha. Like, what are you going to do once we figure out who this is? Make her stop? Like, what fun would that be? It would be pretty boring around here if we didn't have someone gossiping, okay? Penelope has married her Bridgerton. Yeah, yesterday and she is such a hater. At our I said show, this in the last reaction, but I don't know if any of that things. made it into the have final edit. Because, you know, I have to cut so much out. But this sister, she's a hater. Excuse me, and it sounds like and feels like she feels like her mom, like um, Portia is not really like paying attention to her or something. I don't know. There's something. Yeah, it's like they're like she's like feeding for attention or something. The best thing that we can do right be confident now is in the fact that the you guys the are telling the truth. That we have something to hide. Right. Right. You don't have shit to hide, girl. So don't be nervous the queen that her accusations are incorrect god help us now go ahead eat hmm? but violet do you even know that for sure do you really see even though we know it but like do you know that it's no one in your household girl it is only that john and i are going to apply for a special license so that we can have a simple small ceremony at home after which we shall ah like their version of an elope elopement eloping <laughs> we should like to take residence at john's primary estate in scotland oh she wants to move away from us but it's not too far from glasgow how must far be at least a fortnight's right away oh it is why i so enjoy staying there francesca is switching it up and i respect it like she's doing shit different she said i'm not like y'all finally someone to challenge the rules and the boundaries but i do wish she did it with a little more oomph and less like this you feel me but a win is a win why do we all suddenly know that we know because cressida discovered my secret mm. she demands ten thousand pounds to keep it you cannot be serious but the bridgertons have ten thousand pounds to give right you have made that higher sum slightly more if we're being honest yeah, I was thinking that I'm like, she has money under her floor her floorboards. Damn, I cannot speak today. One is paying. And what do you propose we do? Please, will you just pay the girl. Make her sign something though. Tomorrow. 
bring her to see this cause of action. Say, okay, we gonna pay you, but don't try to renege once we put that money in your hand. That's what they need to do. Or we can her. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. They did it before in this show and wow. I forgot about this, so I did miss someone in the intro. Um, okay, so Benedict is into it. Come for your mm. sympathy. I have come for your Deceptor. mercy. Oh, mercy. Penelope is no villain. Okay. Trust me. I thought he was going to say, I came to set the record straight and put you in your place. Ton, too, will forgive you. And surely your father will welcome you back to London when all this passes. Uh, no, I kind of think that's sweet, Colin. But I think Cressida is done for. I don't, I don't see how she's gonna come back for, from this. You take for granted that you will always have your family's support. Mm. Speak on it. We are not the same, Mister Bridgerton. Not everybody has, and that. we never will be. I understand, Cressida. You know, I hate to say that, but I do. Like, not everyone has that support. She feels like she has to take it into her own hands. And like, she really kind of does because her mom really can only do so much because she's under the thumb of that husband. In fact, reflecting upon the lack of support I shall have in the future, perhaps I am not asking for enough from you. Oh, shit. no, she ain't. She's trying to up the price. See, I don't see the issue with just paying her. Like, I understand that's not respectable. But at this point, we're so in the weeds on this bullshit. Like, we kind of needed to just go away at this point because it's just too much at this point. We're just digging deeper, deeper holes. We need to pay her a little 10,000 pounds before she comes back. Pen Penelope has the funds. She doesn't need the money. She is married to a Bridgerton. She doesn't need the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, in any other circumstance, I would say, girl, save your money because you never know what's going to happen in your marriage. But it's Colin. They're going to be fine. Give the money. It's just money. It's just money. And you can make it back. And you won't make it back. You can't come back from this if it's put out there to the public. So, it would have been better to just Penelope? Pay her. Yeah. I have the funds. I will. Have to ask Benedict to sign off for such a large expenditure. You would tell you Benedict doesn't need to be in charge of this shit anyway. Let's be real. He is off in another world. He is not tapped into like keeping the family, you know. He is not tapped into the family affairs. He is busy having affairs. It is not a happy outcome. I suppose I should not have expected any more from Cressida. So very grateful. What is ten thousand pounds? in usd i wonder after all it is not as though i asked your permission. <gasps> Stop. Shut up. You're going down rather smoothly. I was not expecting this right now. Shut up. No. Don't talk. She knew. She had a feeling when she saw it in birthday hats. You have been a very good friend. And that is all I need to know. Wow. Maybe that was really what was bothering um, Agatha, knowing what she did. I can't believe Violet actually knew for real. Like, I knew she had an inkling. But if he sours things between the two of you, I will pick you over him. I shall not lose you for his folly. There is no way about a life. His folly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, that went better than I expected because I really thought. You guys know I've been waiting on this moment and I really thought that Violet was going to be pissed off because you know she's always so self-righteous but it seems like since she's been with Marcus like she's more like understanding and like open open-minded so okay and I'd love for a good party especially a party of three yeah, how do throuples do it? Like, 
I guess you can't be a jealous person and be in a throuple because, like, see, like, that would piss me off. Like, why are you kissing my man? Why Why are my, why is my man kissing my other man? Like, that would kind of piss me off a little bit. Like, but if they're only both showing me attention, then I could probably make that work. <laughs> Bridgerton writers, you know you don't have to show us every occurrence of them doing it. Like, you do know that, right? You do know that, right? <laughs> I don't know. I know a lot of people that watch this show are into those, like, steamy scenes. I like them to an extent, but sometimes it can be a bit much. Like, it can be a bit much. But I like the like the lead up to it and like the passion of it all but the actual scene like showing it in full and the whole thing like it's just I'm like we don't need all of that like we don't need all I don't need all of that I can't speak for y'all but I don't need to see the whole scene like just tease me and then move on <laughs> like seriously is Colin actually jealous of Penelope, like Cressida says, I feel like he might be a little, not jealous, but maybe intimidated by her ability to write so well, um, especially when that's something he wants to do. Yours truly. See, look at that. She wrote it just like the fucking whistle down shits. The solicitor is back. Yeah, they don't hunt you down, girl. They hunt you down. Try that. I suppose. Just turn the lights off and close the blinds. Tribute what does that mean? Discoveries to the royal authorities this week. Good day. They can transfer the funds over to some other family. Penelope, that was the perfect chance for you to grab that little whatever that is back there, that trophy, and bang him on the back of the head and put his body in the closet. That was the perfect opportunity. It's not as if any of them needed that money the um, way we did. You stole from I them. forgot that that's where you got the money from. Them. You stole their dignity. Yeah, Penelope, don't come in here being, oh my gosh. I did what I had to do to protect this family. Who were you protecting? While you were, were putting money myself. under the floor. Oh, from whom? Penelope, don't do that, girl, because the whole time you were saving your money while your family was struggling, like we talked about last season. That kind of pisses me off. That's what pisses me off about Penelope. I like her, but she has like some character flaws that I just make me roll my eyes so hard. I can't even lie to you. What a thing you have made for yourself. Aww. Thank you. That's all Penelope wanted, though, is some recognition. We must do better. You guys, well, it's going to be okay. Just pet a girl before she come in, say, 30. Ugh. <laughs> you are going to bring so much brightness to Scotland. <laughs> you upset about me leaving? No, of course not. I yeah, we are. But we still support you. Be honest. I think you'll do very well in Scotland. Yeah, she's going to be just fine. Violet's kids are getting out of here one by one by one. That is pretty sad. Who do we have left in the house? Hyacinth, Eloise, and the little boy. What's his name? Um, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, G, H, starts with a G. Jeffrey? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, congratulations, guys. You don't have to kiss in front of us. Don't feel pressure. Oh. To my beautiful wife. Oh. I have not the words to express. This is his first time speaking for real. For which I am sure you must be grateful, as I know you are low. Look how confident he is. Missing. <laughs> Love it. 
literally i feel like the right love just makes you flourish right and they're flourishing <laughs> i love it i love love i well, thank you Aww. all of you from the bottom of my heart Ugh. oh cheers dude that was so sweet Okay. Thank you. Uh, Eloise. <laughs> She's just so relatable. So. Just, the key. <gasps> She's gonna expose herself. I mean, this feels like it should have been the play. I'm glad. I mean, it took us a long roundabout way to get here, but we're here. I think that's the best way. Like, why ha give someone else the power to give up your secret? Like, no. Or maybe Penelope's not going to expose her identity fully. Maybe she's just going to tell, like, all of the necessary parties and maybe even the queen. Because, I mean, once the queen knows, maybe the queen can help her conceal her identity. If they work together. What? Oh, what? I'm not certain that Cirrus is what I want. Oh. I assumed that he was like hella into her. That's what it gave. That's what it gave, Benedict. Till I saw what it felt like to share you. Exactly. That's what I said. Like, no. Who paid for all of that? Oh. Uh, my mom told me she wished for you to have the greatest ball made for her. So that's what she was paying for. Okay. I thought she was like getting that money together for Cressida. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice, Penelope. You've redeemed yourself with a money thing. I feel like a um, whistle down column is gonna be coming soon. Your Majesty, forgive us, Your Majesty. We do not have a perch for you. Because she wrote to the Queen to say that whistle down would be exposed here, right? Yup. Not him. My apologies. Why the? F that just pissed Her. me off. Okay, Penelope, did you not write that? Why are you acting shocked, girl? Or is it just like all the people and you weren't expecting this big of a crowd? Like, you knew what's gonna happen, but still, you didn't expect the spotlight to be on you? Like, I know it is no laughing matter what I oh. have done. In the beginning, I, I never thought anyone then. would take my writing. I cannot believe this is exposed right now. Regardless of the outcome, one always has worth. Oh, he's so proud of her. If she affords me the chance to continue, I mean to aim my quill more responsibly. Okay, so she wants to continue whistle down, but as herself. Okay. I like that. I like this. But the queen is harsh. I don't know what she's gonna say. What is life without a little gossip? Okay. That's it. Okay. See, it wasn't that bad. What does everyone have to say? Are people going to start calling her whistle down instead of Penelope? That would be crazy. It's like Hannah Montana was just revealed. Okay, the people are not too stunned. But we gotta give them some time to sleep on it and see how they act in tomorrow. But this was good. This was this was good. I am shocked. I did not expect for them to reveal that. Because I know there's gonna be another season because when you go onto the show, it says official another season is coming or something. So that means like in the upcoming season, Penelope's gonna write as like in her own voice, I guess. Which I don't think is a bad idea. I just don't know, you know, what that will look like because she can't be as like, you know, 
cutthroat when people know that it's her because they're gonna be trying to fight her in the street. Say, so you know she don't got them hands. So I don't know what we are gonna do. There is only one person who loves the Bridgertons more than I. You knew it was me. She knew. I suspect it. I knew it. You are not. Did I not say this? I said this in the last reaction. I'm just so smart. I just shock myself sometimes. <laughs> I'm glad these yes. two have a with her acceptance, bond. You can now tell that's the mistake when money came from my writing. <laughs> You'll have no recourse. Okay, that's a good I idea. To do better. That is a great idea. So everyone wins? Oh, I guess except for Cressida. Uh, yeah. But I mean, while I do feel bad for Cressida, like, karma is coming for everyone, right? Justice will be served. And one thing about them tables, they're going to turn, babe. So... You know, you've been a shitty person for years and you don't get to just get away with that. And that's just what it is. So feel bad for the girl, but she is just reaping the seeds that she's sown, really. So I simply wish to live for a little while outside our tiny bubble. Have some adventures. Eloise, I don't want you to go. <laughs> I am. Um, well, I'm. Francesca Bridgerton kill Martin kill Martin is my name now. Was she just intimidated? What's wrong? Francesca what's wrong? I never know what's wrong with her Hey, what's going on with this girl? I wish she only She's being sent off Damn her plan like painfully blew up in her face like wow What was the purpose of them bringing in Lord Kilmartin's cousin in the very last 10 minutes? Like, is this to say she's going to be in the next season? So does that mean that we're going to be in Scotland too? Aww. Bye, Eloise. It you too, Francesca. <laughs> Just kidding. And so it is with the heaviest heart. I barely know Francesca. Sorry. <laughs> I'm glad we had daughters. I'm certain Aww. they will both marry very. I knew Penelope would be the one to have a boy. Like, please. With the retirement Aww. of my literary persona, I should like to formally introduce myself. Uh huh. Like a year later, like I said, like I said, bro. Like I said. Yours truly, Penelope Bridgerton. Wow. All right, you guys. That was Bridgerton season three, episode eight, the season finale, Into the Light. If I had to give this episode a rating, one out of 10, I'm going to give it a 10. I love the way the episode ended off. And you know what I love even more? I love the fact that they didn't even spend too much time diving into the end result of what happened with Cressida. <laughs> It's like the justice that I always wanted because I've been saying big f you to her for what feels like forever. And it just feels so good to know that the show writers feel the same as me. Clap it up. Clap it up. Um, but let's rate the season and rank it with the other seasons. And include Queen Bridger Queen queen charlotte in it as well okay i would probably put i really liked this season okay you guys have to tell me if you liked this season um it's different than the other seasons i feel like and i mentioned this at some point throughout this season that season three had a little more plot than the other seasons the other seasons were really centered around just the love aspect of it all and I feel like in this season we got more of a plot while there were like side quests in like season one and in like season two it was never it didn't feel as like oomph, as big as it did in this season but hmm how would I rank them I'm trying to think if season two is really still the GOAT for me. 
you know what it is i'm really like an out of sight out of mind type of bitch. <laughs> so it's like i can't even really i think i want to say that i like this season better but that's just probably because it's what i'm keyed into right now so what did i say at the end of queen charlotte i said that i put season two of bridgerton and queen charlotte here and then on the first rank and then i put season one underneath that hmm which is insane because i feel like a lot of people would say that season one is the best season i know a lot of people like watched season one and they didn't watch ever again huh this is hard this is hard guys i think i'm going to put I might have to bump Queen Charlotte down. I can't even lie to you. I might have to bump Queen Charlotte down. I might have to put season two and season three. Eh. Huh. I might have to put season two and season three side by side. Put Queen Charlotte under them. And then put as number two. And then put season one as number three. I think that's what I'm going to have to do, guys. If you're still watching... Thank you so much for your support and sticking around for the entire reaction series. I really hope you enjoyed watching it alongside with me. And I hope you stick around for whatever we do next. If you like what you saw in today's video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and then drop some love down below in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you don't miss a new upload. And then tap into the community chat. That is where you're going to be able to keep up with me and what's going on with the channel. As always... Thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you in the next one.